guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here at the National Corvette Museum. This is the last day of the event, guys. Man, check it out. The weather looks amazing. I'm gonna get a lot, a lot of footage, guys, but really quick, I wanted to talk to one of the engineers about some of the differences as far as the cooling on the C8 ZR1, all right? So I'm gonna introduce her and then she's gonna tell us what those different vents are and what they're used for, all right? So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Here she is right here. She's gonna go through some of the uh, venting and what they actually do on the Corvette C8 ZR1. But really quick, let's go ahead and just introduce yourself and explain to everybody what you do for Chevrolet. Hi, I'm Julie Starr. I'm a senior engine calibrator for the Corvette programs. Uh, so I worked on all the C8 engines, but uh, my pride and joy, and lately my projects have been uh, focused on the Z06 and the ZR1 engine. Nice, man, that sounds great, <laughs> wow. We got a professional here, guys. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna pan the camera around, and I just wanna ask you some questions about the different venting on the Corvette C8 ZR1. So as you can yeah. see right here, guys, we have a competition yellow C8 ZR1 with the ZTK package. So real quick, we'll just start up front. Just tell me what this vent for, this venting is for and here. Yeah, absolutely. So this vehicle has actually five radiators. So there's three radiators in the front here that mm -hmm. you can see. And then there's actually, um, in this flow through hood, there's an intercooler and that is cooling all for the turbocharger system. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. So wow. it's definitely heavy yeah. on the thermal and cooling aspects, uh, pushing this much yeah. horsepower. You got to cool it and keep it running at its peak performance. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So then as we walk down to the side here, let's talk about what this vent is for here this particular one. Yeah, so these are um, auxiliary radiators. Uh, they're part of the five, but there's one on each side. Mm -hmm. uh, one is an engine oil cooler and one is a transmission oil cooler. Okay, sounds great. Wow, nice. All right, now, as far as the ZR1, tell me what this vent is for and the, this vent here on the rear hatch. Yep, so this uh, wishbone design is the same on the Z06, but uh, a unique feature for the ZR1 is this cooling duct, and yes. that's actually for the brakes. Wow. So it's specific to the brakes mm -hmm. uh, to cool those off, mm -hmm. those big uh, rotors and calipers <laughs> need yes. a lot of cooling as well. Yes, nice, nice. Okay, and this vent? Yep, and this one is the hatch inlet that we call. Uh, that's all for engine cooling up here. So that's an additional one that we don't have on the Z06. Yes. Uh, we had it in previous models, if you'll recall, right. C7. Right. Um, and so we kind of brought that back mm -hmm. to do some additional cooling as well. Okay, so it's additional cooling for the engine. Correct. It actually goes through here. Yep. And then, and then goes... you can see down there. Right. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, sounds great. Oh, and then you got yeah. these vents up here. Exactly, yep. So again, more cooling. Yes, uh -huh. nice. So getting air in, fresh air in, and heat out is the big focus on this, right? Nice. We want to keep it nice and cool and running well. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. so the split window design has those additional mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And just uh, real quick, these vents back here, are these like some type of heating exhaust vents for the heat? Or what are these for here? I believe those are just additional cooling. Okay. Um, I work more in the engine, so okay, I can answer good. that, but yeah, All right. I think so. Okay, sounds good. Now, with that being said, you work more with the engine. Can you tell us what this engine is as far as the name, the nomenclature of this engine, and as far as performance, what does it offer? Horsepower, yeah. torque, all that stuff. Absolutely, it's an LT7 engine, 1,064 horsepower, 828 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it's a beast, it's awesome, it's so fast. Zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds. Um, you feel all of that in the car. Takes off like a rocket ship. Um, there's a complete difference between the Z06 and the ZR1 and how right. it feels and accelerates right. because right. of that power. Sounds great. Now, so this one is the LT7? That is correct. So yes. it's the LT7 twin turbo, right? Twin turbo engine, our first twin turbo engine. Uh, you can see down in there, there's a lot of ducting, but right. uh, the turbos you can see from the top mm. there. Wow, nice. That is really, really nice. Wow. I went online and I started researching. I saw that the actual engine is kind of like a, a dual bank engine as far as 
uh, the car is concerned. It's like almost two four cylinder engines or something like that. It's not, but right. the, the turbo with the turbochargers and the man exhaust manifold, the way it's actually built, it's like one on one side and one on the other side. It's not all together like um, a traditional car. Yeah, would be. so unique features on both the Z06 and the ZR1 are the dual throttle bodies. Mm -hmm. um, that's a departure from our earlier small block, traditional small block engines. Right. But uh, that way we can really fine tune things on a bank to bank basis. Yeah. Yes. So as you said, uh, dual, dual turbochargers and the dual throttle control. So we can really fine tune that and uh, optimize each bank and work together so that yes. we get that peak performance. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure with doing something like that, you control boost pressures. It's a, it's a lot easier. Yeah. It has an electronic wastegate. You can control engine pressures and boost pressures a lot more when you do things like that. Absolutely, so, yep. So first off, I want to say thank you. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. you nice uh, taking the time out and doing that interview for me. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy that. And uh, man, right, go Chevrolet. Go <laughs> Chevrolet. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, what did you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed that. We got some actually great information from one of the Chevrolet engineers about the Corvette C8 ZR1. I really wanted to know what those vents were for. And also, we really didn't get this on camera, but I asked her why the venting on the, the, the rear hatch vents on the C8 ZR1 coupe uh, on the hardtop convertible ZR1 versus we do have the vents on the rear hatch for on the C8 ZR1 coupe model. So yeah, she answered that. She said it was basically packaging because of the rear hatch for the convertible. Uh, they couldn't put vents there because of the packaging of the rear hatch on the convertible. So cool. It's got plenty of cooling. Cooling up front, cooling on the sides, cooling in the rear cooling, cooling everywhere. So I really, really thank Chevrolet for doing that. If you guys get a chance to look at these cars, like I said, they are amazing. Really, really amazing. So if you guys like that video, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can be notified when I upload new content. I'll see you guys in the next upload. Peace. Hey.